All right, guys, so I'm at a point where I want to letter the truck. Um, I'm going to do an aged look, so I'm going to letter it, and then I'm going to hit it with 220 sandpaper after it's cured, soften the edges, and make it look warm, okay? So a couple of things we're going to do. Now, I've done pinstriping and stuff like that. I'm not the best at it, but I can get through it. So I want these numbers to look really good because I put a lot of work into this. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I do it. It's a little trick that anybody can do it. You don't have to pay for a letterer. It's just a way for you to be able to do it, okay? So first we gotta clean this up, especially since we've been sanding on it, okay? So I'm just using Windex, knockoff Windex, nothing special. Just spray it down. And paper towels. Clean. All right, so here's what we're gonna do, all right? Now, what I've done is made a sticker, okay? Oops. Just covered in dust. All right, so the sticker here, I don't know if you can see what the way the light is, but it's my garage, so broke past the garage, okay? So, what you do is, if you don't have a vinyl cutter, that's fine, a lot of people don't, go down to a sticker place, okay? Tell them, design your logo, but tell them you want the negative, okay? So what you're doing is you're actually peeling out what you want and leaving the, the background, okay? Now you're gonna work with a negative on this. So, what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna get it in place, okay? So we're just gonna use some tape, just masking tape, nothing special, and pull some measurements, okay? I know on my other side, I was about three and a quarter to the bottom letters, okay? So first we're gonna decide Make sure you got the center tape real well, okay? Rub the tape in, make sure you're good. You don't want it moving. Because this is gonna hold your sticker straight while you apply it. Okay, let me find a razor blade. Lift the one side and separate the sticker from the back. Okay, just like so. Once you got it where you want it. Take your razor blade, cut your back away. 
All right, now for this part, you're gonna need a card. All right, so the credit card starts slowly in the middle and work up and down applying the sticker. The reason we're doing this with the card is so that we don't get wrinkles. Okay. See, just like that. Okay. Now we can pop this, pull this tape out. Okay. And now we're gonna fold this back until we get to the backer. Remove the backer off the other side and do the same thing you did on the other side with the card. Normally you won't have all this crappy transfer here. You'll have one piece, but I ran out this morning. So just keep working it. It doesn't matter if you got curves or whatever, you just work around it. Okay. So we've got it applied. Take your hand, the back of your hand and rub the sticker in real good. You want to make sure it adheres to the car. Okay? Make sure it's in there real good. Then, you're going to pull the transfer tape from the sticker. Okay? Like so. just peel a little don't freak out it's fine as long as the letter part is good you're fine and even if that happens just take your time and get the pieces back together because ostensibly what we're doing is making a stencil okay it's not everybody's the greatest freehander all right i've done it it's okay i mean but this perfect every time so now we work on the other transfer. All right, I got wrinkles right here. It doesn't matter. That was just there for a spacer. I could have done this in two stickers, um, you know, the name and garage down here, but it was easier to leave this and have my spacing and I had big vinyl anyway, so might as well. Now take your fingers and work around the edges of the letters. Make sure they're sealed really well. Okay. Just like so. All right. Once you know that's all sealed up, you're good to go. You're gonna take... All right, I use one shot every time I do any lettering on a car. Now, if you're pinstriping, you need to add a reducer and things like that to make it flow right. We're not doing any of that right now. So, regular art brush, no special pinstriping brush. This will work fine. So, you can get the paint off Amazon, and uh, it's not too bad, it's like five, six bucks. And it can't last you forever. So, just don't leave the lid off. So, I'm gonna pour a little in here, one of these little Dixie cups. And then, I'm gonna use my brush to get all the extra out of the room. And 
I can just go ahead and apply it in here, all the extra I have. Now what I do is apply side to side first, okay, that way you get all the edges, and then do a nice clean straight down stroke, okay. And that way you've worked every direction on that letter, so it's going to get in every little crevice, everything. These, this brush is crap, there's hairs all in it, but it doesn't matter because I'm aging it. All right. Now we just take the time to paint back and forth. Left. I've seen people uh, do this technique and then take a different color with a pen sharpening brush and just follow the edges real close and uh, then when you peel it, it leaves a perfect line so if you want to do outline your letters or you know if you want to take and do a, a two-tone fade or whatever just paint it and just fill it in whatever you want to do you can do with it because you're not so worried. I mean, you could do this with spray paint if you want it. Tape it off and spray it. Not a big deal. I mean, if you're working on a rat, it doesn't matter. So, next up, I use dental picks. Get them at Harbor Freight for like two bucks for a pack of like four or five. But you can use a sharpened nail, whatever you can find that's sharp. I don't know. So, you just start picking it. Now, I peel this before it's dry. Okay, so I peel it before it's dry. That way, the paint doesn't seal on the sticker. But, now you just peel away. There you have it quick and easy so biggest thing is just go get a negative have them design your artwork whatever they'll do it and just print you a negative measure your door there you go pick up some one shot whatever color you want do it peel it let it cure 
and it'll outlast the paint job on the car. So now my stuff, um, I'll show you a photo when I'm done. I'm gonna stand the other side and make them look aged. So, all right guys, like, subscribe. Um, try to get some more up here. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is lightly sand these letters. I started a little here. Um, and then we'll spray the activator back on the metal to make it rust in. So that's what we're doing. See, I've just worn all the letters. Now when we rust it in, it should look good. That's Do it. Do me a favor, like, subscribe. Um, if you got anything out of this, I appreciate it. It's like a bullet.